the dualistic development thesis. So this thesis tells you that uh, it is dependent upon dualism. Dualism means there are two kinds of economic and social systems which are coexisting within one nation itself. Two kinds of social and economic systems. Can be two kinds of social and economic systems. They can be rich and poor in one nation. They can be haves and have-nots in one nation. There are traditional and modern economic systems in one nation itself. So all of that is two kinds of social and economic systems. And because of these two kinds kinds of social and economic systems they are coexisting within a country you'll find is there is growing disparities what do you mean by growing disparities here haven't you seen this that rich countries are getting richer and poor countries are getting poor so rich and there are disparities between rich and poor nations also at the global economic level at the individual nation level also there are people who are rich and there are people who are impoverished poor there is a disparity in them also after liberalization in fact disparities grew in our country in our country it grew inequality grew and these disparities according to this thesis this is not a phase which will just fizzle out it is a chronic condition it is a permanent condition it is not that over time disparities will vanish they will remain if the basic economic system will remain same these disparities will also grow and there are problems with the disparities that's the other point so the main point is that there are coexistence of uh, superior and inferior elements so what could be superior and inferior elements? traditional systems and modern system they are coexisting together rich and poor they are coexisting together and these systems are not integrating with each other they are running parallelly even in our country traditional systems are also there modern systems are also there and there is a growing disparity which is coming in between these systems so with modern economic systems you can churn out a lot of money but with traditional systems because it's a hand based system you won't be able to make that much money. and the rate of increase of making money or increasing wealth in the modern economic system is much more as compared to the just the traditional one but there are growing disparities and they are not integrating rich and poor the gap between rich and poor is in, is increasing then this is a chronic nature of dualism what is what do you mean by chronic nature of dualism chronic nature of dualism means it is going to remain it is permanent disparities will remain it is not going to phase out with time right and it means it is going to reinforce the divide the divide between rich and poor divide between educated and uneducated divide between traditional and modern it is going to reinforce that divide and this gap is going to widen over time we have seen it over the time also unless state actually does something to decrease inequality inequalities are going to remain now the question is that does, does this hold true for india yes it is and there is a very strong applicability of this for example there is urban rural divide in the country no you look at metropolitan cities like uh, delhi mumbai chennai kolkata you have good infrastructure and you compare the infrastructure there with the rural side that these two kinds of cities they are together in one group there are huge economic opportunities which are available but in the other there, there are hardly any economic opportunities which are available. so dualism exists not only that educated and employed have you seen this that those people who have very good education they tend to earn more and those people who do not have good education in all probability they were not having wealth at that time that is the reason parents didn't didn't send them so they didn't develop those skills to make them employable and they remain unemployed so the gap between those who are educated and employed it is going to widen over those people who are uneducated and not really employed or not properly employed so that is the point which i want to say so there are examples which tells you that yes this divide is going to widen over time and this is very much applicable in india